Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. God looking for men. So I ain't trying to talk right to you, sister. That's right. Cause God looking for men. God is raising up an honor on this earth. That's right. It's on the men to get in order to set this, uh, take this earth back and to put his family in order and to get married and put his wife and his kids in order. It ain't on the women to do that. We know you women. So give me the uh, Isaiah three and twelve. Yeah. You black women is the most educated women on the planet Earth. But guess what? The black community is still out of order. <laughs> you go to school more than anybody. Hell, I know some black women that been in school 10 to 15 years. But guess what? Even though you black women, you go to school for four, 10, 15 years, the black community is still out of order. They said, you think you can do it better than the man? Guess what, it's still out of order. You can't do it better than the man. All you need to do is fall in line that's with right. the men of the Lord. That's the ones right. that's keeping the commandments of God. Right. Right. The ones who sit up there and practice marriage. Right. The ones that ain't keeping the white man tradition that was taught to us. Right. You need to fall in line, fall in order, because you black women, show in the hand can't do it. Look at your kids. Your kids proving the pudding that you can't raise, that, that you can't even set the community in order. Look at your kids. Your kids is the biggest game bangers, thieves, robbers, whoremongers on the planet Earth. Hey, yeah. right. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, in verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressed. How God talking about his people. He said, as for my people, children are their oppressors. Hey, you ain't worried about the white, the, the, the little white kid named Paul Paul ain't oppressing you. The little Arab kid ain't oppressing you. The little Chinese, the Chinese kid named Zin Young, he ain't the one oppressing you. God said, as for my people, read that again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. This is how you know you black people is God's people. Because he said, for my people, children are their oppressors. What makes the people on the planet Earth children oppressing them? Black people, kids are oppressing them. Right. Black people kid is the one that's engaged in gang banging and selling drugs and breaking in your house when you go to work to uh, make an honest living. Our kid's the one that's doing that. That's how you know we God's people. Because he said, look, my people's children are going to be the ones that oppress them. Not only do our children oppress us, hold that real quick, get Zephaniah 11 and 5. Not only do our children oppress us, let's see who else oppressing us. It's time y'all to wake up and repent and keep the commandments of God. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's right. A lot of y'all be trying to sit up there and pretend that we a hate group. Now you pretend that we a hate group because you don't want to do nothing God say. You love having sex out of wedlock. You love smoking dope and smoking crack and smoking cocaine. So you know what? Look, we hate these dudes because they keep trying to tell us do what's right. Let's say they a hate group. Y'all evil, man, and a lot of y'all gonna die. You know what it is? God don't judge you. That's right. God will judge you for your iniquity. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Whose oppressors slay them. They said, who oppressors slay them. So not only do our children oppress us, now he said, look, they got oppressors. They got people that's killing them. Who the ones who killing us and then after they kill us? What, read? and hold themselves not guilty. Who is the one that's killing us? And then after they kill us, they hold themselves not guilty. Who killing us and hold themselves not guilty? The white man, he kill you, he go to court, not guilty. Right. That happened like what? 30, 40 times within the past five years? Probably probably even more than that. That's just the ones that publicized that we know about. Right. Read on. Whose oppressors slay them and, and hold themselves not guilty. Now he's going to give you a clue to who the oppressor is. 
He said, these oppressors, they kill you. Then they hold themselves not guilty, but not only that, we. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. Not only that, he said these oppressors is the same one that sold you and became rich off of selling you. Now I'm about to wake up, man. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Jesus Christ is not a white man. I know y'all want to be a white man. Jesus Christ is not a white man. Get that real quick in Revelation 1. You know. I know you want Jesus Christ to be white. Your grandma, she got a white image of Christ on the wall. Your auntie, your great auntie, she got a white image of Christ on the wall. Your pastor told you that Jesus Christ is white. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Now y'all, we about to give you a biblical depiction of Jesus Christ. It said his head and his hair amen, amen. was white like wool. Wool. Jesus Christ had white wooden hair. Read up. His head and his hair were white like wool. It's amazing how the older black men acted after miracles. This, this stuff is amazing right here. This is amazing. Read what you got. As white as snow. His head and his hair was white like wool. As white as snow. And this is why we destroyed, man. Smoking the cigarettes. Drinking that liquor all the time. When you wake up and that's the first thing you gotta do, it shows you why you're going, man. Come here, dude. That's a good thing for you right there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I, I'm gonna show y'all something. Now I think y'all want to know. You said it, uh, yeah, I get five, I put it in the center of the thing. Five, I think. 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 Five, Y'all ain't mocking us, y'all mocking God. One day we gonna come out here, these brothers that's mocking, uh, mocking us right now. He ain't gonna be here. Y'all know he gonna be there? Yeah. Right. He gonna be dead. That's it. Read what you got. The book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Get out. We are glad you read. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Why do y'all think God is mocked? But he said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Read on. For whatsoever a man sowed them, he said, whatever you sow, you think you can mock us because we up here reading the Bible. Y'all can sit up there and look, you can do, hey, you can't judge it on us. People already, oh, they don't got no job. Hey, we want all this, what the hell you mean we ain't got no job? Right. Oh, they don't got no education. We got all types of degrees up here. What the hell you mean we don't got no education? That's because we out here standing for God. Now you want to sit up here and mock us? You ain't mocking us, you mocking God. Read that again. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. The say, God is not mocked. Read. For whatsoever a man sow. Look, whatsoever you sow. So if you sow wickedness, guess what? If you sow wickedness, you're going to reap wickedness. That's right. Read on. That shall he also reap. So that's like how the brother came up here sowing all types of wickedness. Want to foul the cigarette in front of us? Want to sit up here and mock us and play around and think it's a game? Guess what? He got to reap that. He got to reap that. Now let's get the image of Christ. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. It said Jesus Christ had hair like wool. He had white woolly hair. There's two textures of the hair on the planet Earth. You got long straight, waving hair, and then you got curly, kicking hair. Jesus Christ got curly, kicking hair. Hair of a Negro. Read that again. His head and his hair were white, like wool. He said Jesus Christ had white, woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Then he goes into talking about his eyes. It said Jesus Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire. Why is eyes him as a flame of fire? Give me Genesis 49. Let's see why his eyes was as a flame of fire. Time for y'all to wake up and repent. Working on the Lord's Sabbath day, buying and selling. Y'all just look, every five seconds, ten, every four minutes, you gotta smoke a cigarette. That's pitiful. That's pitiful. When every four minutes, you gotta put poison in your body. Damn shame. Freedom. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eye shall be red with wine. He said his eye shall be red with wine. 
So when they said Jesus Christ's eyes should be as a flame, I mean, was as a flame of fire, his eyes was red with wine. Nobody takes the word he was dead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. They said his feet like unto fine brass, Reed. As if they burned in a furnace. They said as if they burned into a furnace. So brass is the derivative of brown. So if you take anything brown and put it in a, a, a furnace, what it do? It get dark. So Christ was a dark skinned man, real dark, a dark brown skinned man. Blacker than his brother that's been mocking us. Read on. And his voice is the sound of many waters. And then I know some of y'all like, why are you so loud? Because Christ spoke loud. If Christ spoke loud, I'm gonna speak loud. That's right. It's time for y'all to wake up and repent. You ask your brother right here, do he love God? He don't got no love for God. He don't even believe in God. Proof in the pudding, he don't believe in God. Look how he acting out here. Smoking the cigarette, blowing in his brother's face. Get that in 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. It ain't even funny. It ain't funny. That's evil there. That is evil. To blow your poison in somebody else's face. Now, you know what? One thing I learned in the black community is that you got a lot of people that play it. Hey, everybody in here, people be playing their little role. They know what to do and know what not to do. Because my brother was out here. I'm telling you, he's a million out of here. But out of violence, they're dressed like a regular dude. People know what to try, what to say, what to do, and what not to do. You're right. Guaranteed. For real. It's just that when the word of God coming out, and a brother got a valve in their hand, everybody like, hey, look, hey. They, they, I guess they think they do whatever the hell they want to do to us. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, in verse 16. Yeah. Now, and it ain't nothing wrong with drinking, y'all. Just don't drink to get drunk. That's right. If you get up this early, that's like how you treat a brother on a regular day when you feel. I don't know who that nigga is over there. Look at him. That's how you want to treat us when we got these vows in the hand. The same way. Read what you got. If any man defile the temple of God. If you defile the temple of God, read. Him shall God destroy. If they him shall God destroy. If you defile the temple of God with cigarettes, if you defile the temple of God with crack, if you defile the temple of God with cocaine, if you defile the temple of God with drunkenness, God said he's going to destroy you. If you get drunk all the time, guess what? You're going to destroy your liver. And if you destroy your liver, you're going to die a horrible death. I've seen somebody whose liver went out on them. They died a horrible death. And you don't want that for yourself. That's why I give me oh, Matthew 4 and 17. We ain't out here to make no enemies with nobody. We just out here to tell the truth. For real. Amen. It's all love. Y'all don't know what tough love is. What y'all want to do? Come out here and talk salt to some grown ass men that have possibly killed people. Rape people and then all manner of evil. Hell no, I'm not talking talk to y'all. Y'all have done all types of evil stuff to other black people. Right. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, in verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And, and when he talking about the kingdom of heaven, what are you talking about? Give me Acts 1 and 6. When he talking about the kingdom of heaven. Get out. Hey, you know what? Hey, I'm going to tell y'all, this is how I know a lot of these dudes be just popping stuff when they in the little group. One day, y'all y'all remember that dude that used to sit over there all the time. He used to always be yelling with us while we were talking, right? Caught his ass by himself one day. Oh, look, that drunkenness was gone. Now, everything changed now. You feel me? See, I'm going to be the same with the mic or without the mic. That's what people don't understand. I come straight from the street. For real. <laughs> oh, look, so look, so now I run up on the brother. I'm like, man, you talk all that damn smack when you over there with your group of dudes full of the liquor. Now you by yourself. No, bro, I, don't, I ain't trying to do all that. I said, you know what? I ain't going to make you lose your job up in there. I said, you need to get your spirit right. That's it. Now, now, when he broke out of the head, man, some of y'all dudes, man, y'all pop a lot of damn stuff, and when you by yourself one-on-one, -on -one, it ain't even what you gonna think it is. Right? Uh -huh. For real. Up. Brother come straight up out the street, bang, yeah. bang, bang it all. He didn't everything. Y'all crazy as hell. 
and you get you deputy to sit up here and roll over, brother, because he got a palm in his hand. Yeah. Man, y'all better go on over to all that. Right. Hell, you man. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He said, look, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So he said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is coming out. Our rulership being restored to us. So we pay for rulership. Why are we fair for rulership? You do number 28 verse 15. Read what you got. What you say, bro? Huh? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, in verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It say, but it shall come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. This ain't going to come to pass. Then look, hey, y'all don't want to keep your hands with God. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. This is why the kingdom of heaven was took it from us the first time. Because we refused to keep the commandments of God. This is why we fell for rulership. And now look at what Moses said was going to happen to you if you break the commandments. Verse 32, read. Verse 32, thy son and thy daughter shall be given unto another people. Moses said your son and your daughter going to be given to another people. It's about giving to another race of people. Right. That happened to us. Why? Because we broke the commandments of God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.